I come home one night and I'm like, f Lynn, I f***ed up. I f***ed up. I killed a person. What do you do? Um, do, you t do you turn me in? I think we have it pretty good. What, We're what, like millionaires. What did you do? Who did you kill? Somebody tried to like take my Lamborghini. And I killed him accidentally. <laughs> <laughs> I accidentally killed him. And I got his, I had to like take the body in like, and I drove it home. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what, what are we doing here? How are we going to solve this problem? Cause Why this are is you bad. bringing this problem to me? <laughs> I mean, we have a house, we have a mansion. You're, but you're now like, I'm involved. We gotta, we gotta get rid of the body. And things, you have like Lamaze class and everything, like in the morning. Like all of that. So you have to think about all of that, like, oh my god. Well, me and Johanna are gonna go to... <laughs> to what is it called? Like yoga, meditating. Would you be stressed or would you be just like, okay, like, uh, let's, let's try to... Let's try to bury that would be the like body. My worst, that would be my worst nightmare. Is... So that, that would be like the worst thing. No, but like imagine having to live with that for the rest of your life that you're That's, hiding Haven't something you seen like Black Mirror? And being scared of being like found out. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's yeah, like, constantly going on the edge because yeah. they might just figure it out. Yeah, that is One the day. worst feeling. I don't know if I could Somebody's like knocking on the door, you're just like... <gasps> I don't know if I could live like that. <laughs> I like rather just like... I need. What? I kind of need the truth to just be out. You rather go to jail? I'm not going to jail. <laughs> You're going to jail. <laughs> We're in this together. I. I brought. I'm not the, the one who killed body. someone. I brought the body home. Yeah, and that that is so selfish. You should have gotten rid of it. Like, don't get me involved in this. <laughs> like, you can tell me, but like, I now I don't want to be involved. Oh physically. my god. Okay, okay, I can tell you after, like, I killed somebody. Then you're like, that's... If the story holds up... Then you're like, okay. Yeah, but Sorry. don't bring the body home. Because <laughs> I don't want to be... I can keep this... Maybe I can keep the secret for you. Okay, that's good. If I know, like, I, I understand that it was an accident. And I know you're not about... Yeah, somebody person. tried to, like... Yes, Still and it was an Lamborghini. accident, yeah, and you was. freaked out. Yeah. Okay, maybe. I accidentally maybe. shot him. You accidentally <laughs> shot him. Yeah. Accident. Like he tried to rob me. He tried to take my Lamborghini, so I accidentally. Okay, scuffle. Then I had a gun. Then I shot him in his head. Okay. But it was like an accident. Okay. If I know that you're a good person. Yeah. And stuff. Then you you'd. Maybe I could keep a secret, but I'm not getting involved in this. Wow. That's good. Like if you So you you're, you're bring, partially loyal. I'm not burying a body. But how would you how would you like dispose of a like a body? Would do you I'm, have to like put it in cyanide? Like a I'm not disposing of a body. <laughs> You'd never do that. No. Well You know what, if I accidentally killed someone, I would just I would, be I would the help truth. you. I would help you if you if that happened. Yeah. I would help you. I would I would be like okay. Really? You gotta, yeah. You're so stupid. Why? Cause loyalty over everything. I would say like if something happened to your so, sister. I'm just so or happy even I don't live in the United States. Why? Because the legal system is more fair here. I feel like in the United States it's a gamble. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. It's like you could be honest about something. Here you get like and what, they, and they, four to five years? It could be like some, it feels like in the United States, like yeah. if you accidentally kill someone, yeah. they could like lock you up for the rest of your life and be like, yeah, you did that on purpose. You that's know what I mean? True. That's It feels that's like wild. that. It's, it feels like that. In Sweden, I feel like if you did it on accident, yeah. of course you get a punishment, but true. it's like, they would be like, yeah, obviously it was an accident. So no, you're not gonna be locked up for the rest of your life. You yeah, know what I mean? you have you have a, a chance to redeem yourself. Yeah, mm -hmm. it feels like that. But oh my god, I'm never. Where's wood? Knocking on wood. <laughs> but. So what is what? I think I would just have to tell the truth. Yeah, but I what is like worse the? To get, like when you start lying. Mm -hmm. 
then people don't take you serious anymore. Would you say like you're a very honest person? Yes. Like honesty is the most important thing. Like in a relationship, like honesty, trust, that's like... Yeah. You're not selfish, it's, you have to be honest, it's you by the book, you could be like a cop. You don't I like to it's like, just best to, be to bend the rules or to, to do anything no. which is not proper. No, I don't, have you heard the Taylor Swift song? Karma is my boyfriend. Mm. Karma is with the um, uh, with the what's her name? Ice Spice. Yeah, but that's the remix. That's weird. I don't you like Ice Spice? I don't really know much about her. Ice Spice is good. But I've seen the remix. It's kind of weird, isn't it? But Ice Spice is really, really good. I, I like um my sister karma, put me I feel on. like if you're just being honest, yeah, and you keep like a light conscience. Because you know that you're not lying about stuff. I feel... I want to feel like that. Like, I want to have a light conscience. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like that also is why I am so happy. <laughs> because I, like, I have a very light conscience. Yeah, you don't have anything that you're thinking about or something which you're like... I'm oh. not doing anyone wrong on purpose. I'm not... I'm not trying to ruin something for someone. Mm -hmm. I'm, like, wishing people well whatever i'm wishing everyone well and i'm like doing my thing like but do you do you think like do you believe in karma like yeah if you do good you get good back yeah mm -hmm. i feel like if someone does something to you you don't have to get revenge because they will be taken care of in which way it's much that's, more, that's it's very much interesting more, it's much more peaceful to think yeah like but that. that's that's very interesting why do you think that don't you think like Let's so for instance land, right comes back around so for instance i would say this right uh the my country mm -hmm. there's a lot of people like germans which went there they colonized they did a lot of shit, right and when i was there i saw like there's people which are still living like in shacks and just going through things and mental health and there's a lot there right there there was no retribution or karma or anything they, they, their lives are still horrible because of the Nazis and everything. So I'm like, when does that? When does the karma come around for for the less fortunate? I guess what I'm talking about because mm -hmm. I don't have all like counter to counter pop to counter popular belief. Is that a word? Mm -mm. Is that a saying? Mm -mm. Counter to never... popular belief, like. Like, yeah, I, I think mm. you say it in a different way, but yeah, I understand uh -huh. what you mean. Yeah, I don't have all the answers. I mean, people think I do, but I don't. <laughs> and that's what I was trying to say. Okay. But I'm talking more on a personal level. Okay. Like, um, your your not, mentality is better with you doing the right thing. Yes, I like to believe that, like, if you do good, good will come unto you. I'm not sitting here and saying that people deserve what's coming to them or whatever. I'm not the judge of that. Mm -hmm. But like in my life, all I can say is I'm much happier if I'm keeping my conscience clear. Mm. And I don't feel like it's a good energy for me to be trying to wish people good, bad or like trying to get revenge on people. Like that doesn't make me feel better. Mm. What makes me feel good is like, it's like minding my business and believing like, Someone did something wrong to me. I feel sorry for them. They probably don't like themselves very much. So either they're already punishing themselves. By doing all of that extra yeah. thing. Yeah, it's true. So actually, I don't know. I feel sorry for them. For being like... I, I can You should feel that. sorry for people. For like when they... I can respect that. Or like, I mean, no person who actually is happy and like themselves are going around trying to hurt other people. You know what I mean? A person who's happy and like themselves, they're not doing that kind of stuff. They're like, if you're happy, you're going to be wishing other people well because you're like, you know, I'm good. I'm happy with my life. Like, yeah, they say like, a, I don't have a reason like, to hate people. Pure self-confidence. If you really have pure self-confidence, then... You don't have to brag and you don't have to do that extra and you don't have to like for instance something which i thought of like before right uh i used to have this like 
somewhat of like a, a group of like because uh, I used to work at like a youth center before um, when we when we met for the first time and I remember like working with a lot of kids and some some were like came from different backgrounds and different countries and, and whatever right and some were like Swedish and I remember like mostly like the Swedish kids would always get like record deals this and that like there, there, there was a con like there was a divide if if you were like a hip hopper right if if a hip hopper were to come in and this is something even Nine Tone did a lot with like um if you were a hip hopper you wouldn't really get like this a contract because they did not really feel like they could sell that or market that so there were a lot of like an artist which would like do numbers right and they'll never get like deals but i remember like douglas got a deal uh katarina jacobson got a deal and i worked with both of them and there was you know some other people which which got signed and the the, the ones which were like uh utlenska mm -hmm. they always like always felt like like they don't they weren't like given a proper chance because they wanted the same thing as them but they they never got to go to the festivals and doing all of that but that's that's something which i thought of right there where i was like even though that people might uh treat you different as long as you're true to yourself and and you continue doing whatever you do and you just focus i think at the end of the day you, you can prove anybody wrong because look at kanye what he did mm -hmm. i was watching his documentary and he's sitting there and he's like playing i don't understand how he could play those songs and people are just like like they didn't like they didn't even care mm -hmm. but then when he he blew like when he exploded those people must have been like why didn't i give this guy a chance mm -hmm. that's wild <clears throat> so I, I i agree with you in in a sense that like if you just if you're just positive and, and stick to yourself and your and you have pure self-confidence mm. i don't think that then anything can can get you off your path because it's like i think everyone gets exactly what they deserve at mm. the end of the day like i put in the work mm. Mm. i i like i sat days and days in to get both of my channels monetized but then i have to sacrifice a lot mm -hmm. to you yeah okay I have some. Uh, then I have to sacrifice a lot of like parties and all of this, right? But to get that Google paycheck, it 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 you know it makes me happy because I'm like okay, all the all the effort and all the time which I put in actually led to something, and mm -hmm. I did not just like quit just because it was easier to quit or whatever. So so I I do agree with that philosophy, like work hard and you. And I've had that as well. Like I've had. Um some kind of crazy moments with being a woman okay or a girl yeah and like how you were being treated differently sometimes and it's very funny to me like it's it used to make me very upset yeah but then just like you know what whatever like okay explain to me how were you treated did somebody not want to work with you because you're they a don't woman give me the, they don't give me the same opportunity in which way expect because i don't i don't i'm listen i'm not a woman mm -hmm. i don't understand how it is i can only speak from my it's perspective like, it's just like <laughs> it's just like i know you're gonna post this video no but it's interesting because you see the thing like sometimes we don't even talk about things like this right we're just like yeah so consumed in it has to be this way or like it's not a weird thing saying like i i experience i experience racism yeah but i don't experience it right now because i got monetized and i'm traveling the world i'm doing that right yeah. then it's a little bit different so okay we need you now we need to be your friend yeah. but if i wasn't there of mm. course they would no one would ever like so yeah. so you see what i'm saying it's, it's a similar thing than with sexism because that's what i've Experience. Okay, so you've, you've experienced sexism. Yeah. In which way? Okay, so there was an instance. Yeah. You don't have to say names or anything, <laughs> no, I'm not but you can, do just, it. you can just say so what I, happened. <clears throat> so there was an instance. Yeah. 
where I was going to be given a studio, okay. my own studio. Okay. And I was going to do work. Mm -hmm. I was going to but I was only going to get cuts. So I wasn't going to get like a like a like a salary. Okay. Like none of that. And I couldn't get a promise that I would ever get a salary. It was okay. just like kind of like yeah, basically I'm just going to do work for other artists. Okay. Like you you're ghostwriting. Uh or like producing. Okay. And like I guess getting better at producing, but actually doing work, mm -hmm. but not gonna get paid for it, and yeah, basically just like yeah, you get a studio and okay. you get to do like work, yeah, but like no promise if you'll ever get ever get hired, and basically you're just doing this shit work, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. But still work, mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, then I said uh, no. Because I was like, no, because I have, because I'm not gonna have a full time job, and then do like that kind of shitty work mm. for free, mm. kind of, mm. like not knowing if I was ever gonna get paid. Yeah. And and then I don't have any time to do my own stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I was like, this is not a good deal for me. Yeah. And then I think six months later, mm. I found out uh, a guy who dropped out from high school mm. got a job. Yeah. With them half time Ooh, and i have a degree that's that's I have wild. A, I, actually, actually i have a degree <laughs> that's in music wild. business Jesus. i have a degree in music business okay. i was the only one who was good at writing lyrics at that place yeah and i was the only one who could sing and actually did some free stuff for people okay at that place mm -hmm. and then i was at this place with this guy who dropped out of high school and yeah. got the half time pay you know i'm almost i was almost 10 years older than this guy yeah and then this guy tells me, he's like, yeah, it's so hard to find female producers. And I was like, yeah, isn't it? Oh, that's wild. I... That actually happened to me. And I was like, I are you? Say, yeah, I wonder why wild. it's so hard to find female producers because you don't want to pay them. You don't want to give them a fair opportunity. And you'd rather hire a guy 10 years younger with no experience <laughs> and then this that's guy is wild. sitting here and telling oh, me oh jesus that's and i wild. and i had like <laughs> i feel like i had like enough in me to be like no like i'm not doing that like yeah. you're not promising me anything mm. and so i'm not gonna do it and then if you know like it's a slap in the face like it's so hard to find female producers <laughs> yeah no shit because the ones who walk through your door you don't even see them <laughs> You don't even look at them. You're like asking them to do something basically for free. Yeah. And then when they say no, they're like, where are all the favorite producers? I guess we're just going to have to hire <laughs> a guy. You know what I mean? It's a boys club. That's, it's listen, a boys club. It is. It is. It is. And that's how it is sometimes. <laughs> Can, you guess? Can you guess where this happened? I, I have no idea. I, I have no idea about, but what I'm saying is this, right? <laughs> I get it. I understand. 100% behind It's very, you. like, the, the thing is, you if can you, either let, let it break you, or yeah. you can let it make you stronger. Yes. But that's what I'm saying, like, <laughs> you either create your own door, or yeah. you have to stand outside of somebody else's and beg to come in.